Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are back with another What I Eat In A Day. I feel like today's gonna be exciting because breakfast, I've had it for a week now. Not, I've had, I've had the box for a week and I haven't tried it because I wanted to try it with you guys. Do you appreciate that? I hope that you do. As you can tell, I just wanna get straight into the video. There's no point in intro in it. It's a What I Eat In A Day today don't eat it every day I'm not counting calories just a regular kind of watch on what i eat kind of probably not anyway let's get straight into it I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you do please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel breakfast oh my god it's new ish i think it's been new maybe a couple of months now i did a new in aldi a couple of months ago when this sort of came out and I tried to get it, but apparently it was really difficult to get hold of. And I was doing a food shop the other week in Aldi and I saw it and I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, the excitement is unreal. So just in case you don't know, or you're not like an Aldi shopper, this is caramelized biscuit cereal and it's Aldi's version of Biscoff. I love Biscoff. And if we can get it for cheaper at Aldi, then why not? Aldi have also brought out, I haven't got it in today's video, but I've also seen that they've got a cereal bar as a Biscoff one. So if you guys see it, get it, let me know what it's like. Let's have some cereal. Now, I, I know I just literally said in the intro, I'm not calorie counting, I'm not, but I've got to weigh cereal. I say it all the time, I always weigh cereal. You can't even see, but just so you know, I'm, I've got scales here. I always weigh cereal because you could easily go over the top with cereal. Well, I can anyway, and I just like keep pouring, you know? I'm really pink today. I'm in a full, I think you guys have seen this before, top cycling shorts, and then I've got a little pink headband as well. So pink. Do the smell test first. Just like Biscoff. Don't really know what else I'm expecting. I'm gonna try it without the milk first. They're very sweet. They're literally just little, little tiny balls. I'll be honest. Oh, actually no, that was Biscoff. I think it's got like little powdery bits on it. I don't know if you can see. And obviously, that's me just eating it before I even pour it in. The more you powder you get on it, the, the Biscoffier it is. Is that even a word? Don't know. They're good. We've also got, as well, I forgot to say it in the intro, we've got a little Primark haul for you today. I went to Primark yesterday and it was a good Primark day. You know sometimes, sorry, I've got to wait for this to go a tiny bit soggy. You know sometimes, you, well, me anyway, I'm like, I see it all online, I'm like, I need to go to Primark, there's loads of good stuff for Primark. Get to Primark and it's crap. It wasn't one of those days. It was good. So we will go through that later. Anyway, let's give this a try. Oh my god, full on Biscoff. That is so good. Just the right amount of flavouring of Biscoff. It's not OTT, it's not too little. That's good. Mm. You know when you get like a good breakfast or a good food and then you get obsessed with it? I'm gonna be obsessed with it. I'm gonna go finish that and I'll see you. I think for lunch, because I'm having this quite late to be fair, it'll be lunch next. And you guys know I'm not a snacker in between, so yeah, I'll see you for lunch. Right, before I have some lunch, actually, to be fair, quite a few hours before I have some lunch, I'm not hungry. Shall we do a little Primark haul? You interested? Well, if you're not, you're gonna get it anyway, so skip if you don't want it, but... Uh... Look at this bag of goodies. Just ignore my clean washing that I need to put it away. Look at this bag of goodies. Let's go through some bits. I might try some bits on, might not. I don't know, sorry, I was looking outside then. That I bought really summery bits and it's cold and wet and raining today, so we just, you know, it doesn't pass the vibe. But anyway, let's have a look at what I've got. Let me shut this window. I'm not shutting the window right. There is a pigeon in my extension. So basically, we've got the windows, but we haven't got a back door yet. I mean, I haven't got a garage door, but it's all kind of blocked up. But basically, a pigeon has flown in and now it doesn't have to get out because, sorry, I'm moving you around because I feel like you're wobbly. Uh, it doesn't have to get out because there's windows and it keeps flying into the windows and it's, I don't know what to do. Now, the other day there was actually a magpie in there and 
it kept doing the same thing and I went downstairs like went to the doorway and was like you need to come out here trying to help it and then basically our extension it, it's when we knock through it's going to go through our bathroom is the current bathroom window is still there so I opened the bathroom window and I stuck my head out and I was like I could you not right I was like mate because it flew into the window again and I was like mate you've just got you've just got to go down and go outside go out that door and you'll be free and I'm not kidding it went like this looked at me went outside and flew out and I was actually like did it just understand me so maybe I can talk to magpies but not pigeons maybe they're like a different language because that pigeon it just keeps smashing into the window and I had nice clean they're not even a week old nice clean brand new windows and a freaking pigeon keeps flying into it and I don't know what to do anyway should I show you the Primark bits rather than talking about the pigeon my brain is just like Come Number uno numero. Is that even the word? No. Uno numero. I don't know. Can't speak different language. Number one is this dress. It's a midi dress. I was going to try them on, but I can't feel that I'm really sorry. I'm going to like, take all my clothes off and try them. You probably don't even care. But that lighting looks good. Uh, a lovely blue midi, and it's got this like st stretchy material around the breast area it's like <laughs> sorry i'm in a i think i'm in a bit of a weird mood today my last video that i did i was like yeah i don't really fancy talking and now i'm just like can't stop so apologies but um yeah it's like a flowery sort of blue and white dress that let's turn back there you go like you... little try on for you kind of it's uh just comes just above the knee it was 12 pounds no it wasn't it was 11 pounds and I haven't got many like cute easy sort of dresses to be fair I'm usually a shorts sort of girl in the summer I'm usually wearing shorts but I did a sheen shop a little while ago and I got quite a few different dresses and I was like oh I think I'm a dress person now I want to wear loads of dresses so yeah this is number one a lovely little blue and white dress next I've got some bras I don't actually usually wear these sort of bras but I was watching a podcast the other day it was at Sam and Billy I watched their podcast and someone asked her a question basically she wears all those like racer back Billy wears racer back tops and I do as well and someone said what bras do you wear for them so you're not like constantly moving your bra straps I usually wear what are they called strapless <laughs> I was gonna be like ones without straps strapless bras with them but sometimes it's annoying you have to get the right one otherwise you're constantly pulling it and she wore racer back ones which are kind of well they're not actually like this basically basically i'm just going to try it that's why i've got it <laughs> i said that whole story and like it probably doesn't even make sense now but yeah i've got these um it's a three pack seam free wireless ones with removable cups and it's a pink sort of skin color and a i don't know is that like charcoal -y sort of color but yeah i don't usually wear them I don't know what it would be like, but I've bought it. Um, <laughs> I've also bought this Hyaluronic Acid Super Serum. I've only kind of bought it because I always see like on TikTok or Instagram or something, you always see like, oh, I, I keep seeing anyway, like Primark dupes. So one of these was, I think one of these must have been it, but the skincare from Primark is apparently really good. So I thought I would give that a go. Along the lines of that as well is, I'm sure lots of you have probably seen this Prep and Perfect Primer. Again, it was all over like TikTok and stuff to say how amazing it is. And it was a dupe for, I want to say Bobby Brown, but I'm probably completely wrong. And I've been trying to get this for ages, but my Primark sometimes doesn't Primark. Like it sometimes it's just crap. So I got this. I've used it this morning and it, my makeup went on quite nicely, but we'll see it, like what it's like throughout the day. I put it back in that bag because I to remember to show you. But it, the smell of it smells really good. It's got a, like a slight hint what i think anyway you know when you get a spray tan and the room smells like tan but doesn't smell like the tan that you would put on at home that's what that kind of smells like not much only if you like take a proper proper sniff of it so don't let that put you off if you don't like that smell but this is four pound fifty i haven't been showing the prices that was 11 pound both those two things that i've shown you the clothes and the bra was 11 pound that was five pound this is four pound fifty and on the theme of it as well i've got this uh liquid lip scrub and lip hydration hydration drops this is three pound i haven't seen this anywhere to see what it's like but you know 
I thought, why not? So actually, let me open it, see what it is like. So you've got a little pen of, so this is the liquid lip scrub. It comes like this. I've never seen one like this before. And then we've got a little hydration, lip hydration drops. My lips don't really need hydration, they're fine, but it, I saw it and I was like, well, one day, I might need it. So yeah, I've got those two little, those two little bits. I picked these trousers up. These were 14 pounds. They are just like linen trousers. Is that what they're, stone color. Don't know if it's, yeah, they are linen, aren't they? With a little like drawstring bit. Um, I just think they'd be easy with a vest top or maybe a t-shirt. I do. I did buy some trousers. Last time I went to Primark, I bought some more beige sort of colour ones. But the I really wanted some of the, this sort of material, but there was none in there when I bought them, so I bought the other ones anyway. Basically, the other ones that I've got are more like... I think they're more smarter material. Like, you don't have to make it look smarter, but the material then feels smarter than what these do. I feel like these are just, you know... Quite easy sort of simple thing so yeah got them did i tell you the price i think i did 14 pounds i've just picked up this vest i feel like i probably already got one of these but you know why not i actually wanted it in white but there were none my size in white they either had like extra large or extra small now i'm medium this is four pound it's just a vest uh bodysuit can't really go wrong with them can you two more things two dresses see what i mean by very summary so i got this dress i really like this this was £14 and it's just a lovely, oh the lighting, oh there we go, pink and white dress. It's a longer one, let me stand back for you. Don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. There's a zip up the side, it goes down to like my shins and there's like a little slit that doesn't go far up to be fair, which is good. But uh, I really like that really like that i don't even know i can't really see the viewfinder how far back you can see but it's got like like a nice sort of pretty i don't know what effect that is like on the bust area again but like i just like it i feel like i'm trying to tell you why i like it but i just like it and then finally the last thing i got was this dress and i really like this i was about to describe it to you then it's flowery it's pink and flowery i was about to say so I got this in a small rather than a medium, purely because there was no medium there. But I feel like these sort of things you can kind of play around with sizes anyway because it's like floaty and stretchy material. So it's, again, it's a shorter one. <laughs> you get lots of YouTubers that are like, they try it on prop. I don't class myself as a YouTuber, but people on YouTube like try it on properly and give you the whole, you know, outfit. And I'm just holding it over my head. Uh, it's stretchy and it's got like, this bit is stretchy. Stretchy waistband and stretchy bits on the arms as well. But yeah, that's why I got it in a smaller size because, well, I hope, I, I should really try it on. Hopefully it's not too short. I did hold it up. Mm. Might be all right. But that is my little Primark haul. So... This is £12, can't even remember if I told you that. But I feel like, see what I mean? I think Primark Primark this time. The shopping was good. I literally went in there. I just had, you know, I said it earlier, but you know when you just need to go and go to Primark? Like I said to Josh yesterday morning, we were going to do something and I said, I want to go to Primark today. So we'll do that when I get back. And he was like, well, I'm not coming. I was like, you're not invited. I need to go to Primark on my own whiz round and just you know i don't want a boy following me do you know what i mean boys are annoying i don't want to follow me um so i literally went there for an hour put an hour on the car park i was actually late so i thought i was gonna get a ticket but i didn't and just enjoyed myself and i think i did pretty good don't you think do you like all my stuff i hope you do anyway sorry i haven't tried it on but it would take even longer and a lot of you probably come here just to see what i'm eating anyway this has built up a, a slight hunger i'm gonna try all this on later on i think but uh yeah i think i've done well Got that way and i will see you for some lunch i am about to go down and make my lunch i've just tried on all those bits 
um all very good the long pink dress like the pink and white one very nice but the slit which i thought would sit on the side kind of sits like on the front to the side like there's a bit like that goes like down here it's like a line that you would have thought it would be like the seam that sits on the side but it doesn't it's not twisted it just sits there it's a bit weird so i'm not sure on that one looks fine but i just i don't know it feels weird anyway i'm gonna make some lunch that's a thumbs up anyway thumbs up to all of those bits very good trying to turn the light on with my elbow uh i'm gonna make some lunch but i really don't know what i want oh there's my watch i forgot that i took that off to do some washing up i actually am a bit embarrassed about the state of my kitchen as well i washed my towels and then it rained so they're all sat inside and i've just got stuff everywhere but lunch today i don't know what i want which isn't great what i might have is i don't fancy like regular sort of sandwich so what i might do is toast it that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have oh yeah i'm gonna have that sorry that was a bit of a bang i'm gonna have a sandwich but i'm gonna toast it a chicken sandwich and i'm gonna put instead of like mayonnaise or something i'm gonna put some guacamole in there why not and I'll flash them red. So let me make all that. And I'll show you. I'm going to have some bits of olives as well, I think. I've got... I've got like an anti-pasty platter. Yeah. I'm going to have the rest of that. Let me make it. Let me change the battery. Make it. BRB. Right. Battery has changed. Food is ready. And I'm very excited. Very weird looking lunch. But... Very nice looking lunch. I've also got my second bottle of water pink also i feel like that's deja vu i feel like i've said it in another video tell me why when you have a toasted sandwich it just makes it just so much more exciting so i've literally just put that chicken roll in there and i think the sun's just going to block whatever you can see but guacamole in there rather than like butter or mayonnaise tell me why that hits different than if that was just bread not toasted <laughs> look at my pinky I've just chucked those towels out there as well and I feel like it's going to be one of those days where I'm just going to be constantly watching the weather. So annoying. Anyway, that antipathy thing, obviously, as you saw, I don't know if you could see, basically half empty, but it's, it was a good little antipathy pot. And one of them was like olives with a little bit of cheese. I don't know what cheese it is, but it's good. And then we got some nuts. I think that was it because I ate everything else. There was like mozzarella balls of tomato i ate all of that just the last little bits which clearly i'm too hungry to stop being so greedy and speak to you before i actually stuff my mouth i'm gonna go finish that i'm gonna get those towels in as well because it's stressing me out i am gonna have an apple and more than likely stop eating leah more than likely i will have some chocolate but i don't know what chocolate i want so we'll come back in a bit and decide Maybe chocolate and a cup of coffee. I don't know, but I'll see in a bit. Right, it's time to do dinner. Didn't have anything else earlier. I literally had a coffee, but I thought, look at my hair, it's ridiculous. I thought, what's the point of picking up the camera to tell you that I'm going to drink coffee? I thought it'd be pointless. So, I didn't, basically. I've been out, got my shopping, and taken Sid for a walk. And let me tell you, there is gale force winds out there. When I was getting my shop in, I need to be quick actually. When I was getting my shop in, I opened my boot because I did a click and collect. Got the bags out and a gust of wind came and the bags flew across the car park. The guy that's giving me the stuff, he went and ran and got one. I started to run to get the other and it was gone. It was really embarrassing. I gave myself the ick. And then some nice guy that was doing like a delivery, he stopped, got it off the road. It went to the road and brought it back to me. So it's very kind. Anyway, I'm back now after being blown away. I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna be having this for dinner, a HelloFresh meal, sticky honey pork rice bowl. And then need to hurry up. It says 20 minutes and Josh will be home in 20 minutes-ish. So I do need to hurry up and do it. But basically, that's what I'm gonna cook. So I will show you when it's ready. I'm not gonna sit and eat with you because I don't seem to do that anymore for dinner. I think it's because where Josh's hours, work hours has changed, we sit and eat dinner together, whereas it used to be I'd be on my own and he'd come back. So, do you mind? That's what I'm gonna do anyway, sorry. 
so yeah i'm gonna start cooking and i'll show you the finished product hopefully it looks just like this probably a bit less because actually they just make this like look amazing don't they my hair i'm literally windblown anyway i've got to cook now right this is it obviously I haven't dished up how they've done it but what are we thinking and I've been tasting it as it goes, and obviously it does taste pretty good. So I'm going to sit down and have this. I might actually have a slice of bread to go with it, you know, to dip in. I don't know. Does that look quite enough? I'm really hungry. That's why I'm just being piggy. But anyway, yeah. Sticky honey pork rice bowl. Looks good. I'm pleased to know that the pigeon saga is over. He's gone. Josh got a ladder to go up there to open one of the windows. And... It scared him, so he flew into one of the windows, fell to the floor, and then realised the door was there, so I flew out, so pigeon's gone. Anyway, I'm going to have some pudding. That dinner was really nice, really tasty. I had one slice of bread with it. Uh, I'm going to have some pudding. I don't really know what I want. I don't want loads, but I'm going to have the milky bar. I'm going to have a cup of coffee or tea. What do I want? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm going to make a coffee or tea and have a pack of these. We went to Tesco's last night and now I wish I got a big pack. Last night, what did I have? We went to Tesco's, dropped on some hay fever tablets for the week. Um, and obviously, once a day, you have treats out if you can't go to Tesco's just for one thing and not come out with treats, you know? Got myself a Lucasaid, a white chocolate Twix. Very nice. I had the big one as well. And then I bought some Milky Bar buttons which i'm gonna have tonight so yeah i'm going to end today's video here i'm gonna go upstairs get in my pjs make a cup of tea or coffee haven't decided yet and sit on the sofa and watch some youtube or netflix so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this one you know not just the standard what i eat in a day i like to chuck in a little bit to keep you excited a little little haul so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel but that's all for now so as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video